guys, before we get too far into this video, I wanna remind you, last seven days to enter to win this truck. Every single order gets you entries to win and every single order gets random cash in it. Go to lmpgear.com or hit the link in the description and get entered while you can. Somebody's gonna win this truck plus five grand and every single one of you are gonna get cash in that order. So today we're gonna to be taking the Whistling Diesel first gen. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. That is disgusting. Oh, that is nasty. So we've got like trees everywhere, so we've always got, I know, man, it's gross. So we've always got spiders making spider webs. And uh, <laughs> you have no idea how many times I've walked into these stupid webs. I hate the spider webs. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get rid of the spider web, get in the truck, and hook it up to the 20 foot trailer. Another one. Oh, I hate these stupid things. We just got over to my parents' property and we're gonna be doing some mowing over here. It's just kind of something that I do usually every couple weeks I come over and just mow for them on me, just kind of like as a little thanks for being able to come over here and haunt and film and all kinds of other stuff. So I just kind of look at it as like a kind gesture I could do to try to help out here and there. So all this needs mowed. It's manageable with a zero turn right now. So we're gonna get that done. We're gonna try to do this side across the driveway there, you can see. That is pretty well grown up. We're gonna try to mow all this here next to this tall stuff, just in the main yard part and get all that done. So I'll get back to you guys once it's complete. Next day, part two of the vlog. On our way to the bank, we're gonna grab some more cash for you guys' as orders, of course, but do not forget that if you are wanting to win our truck of the month, which is that 1997 7.3 Power Stroke plus $5,000 cash, this is your last seven day reminder the giveaway is ending in seven days, and then it will be gone. You're gonna be very hard pressed to find a cleaner 7.3, especially that you could win for a couple bucks. Every order that you place is gonna get you entries, all the entries and how much each product is worth in terms of entries is listed on the store. It's very self-explanatory. You just place an order of any product you want. Obviously, the more products you buy, the more entries you get. We've had guys that bought one keychain win a vehicle from us, actually a couple times. And then in the same sense, we've had a handful of guys that bought tons of stuff and happen to win. So it, it really, there's no real science to it. It's just random drawing, so anything can happen. But anyways, if you wanna get your entries and you wanna get cash in every single order also, I forgot to mention that, that's ending on September 9th, which is in seven days. So if you wanna get those entries, get that free cash, and have your shot at winning that truck. Don't waste any time, go to lmpgear.com. Last night didn't go quite as planned. I was gonna be doing a lot more like vlogging of what I was doing over at the property, but essentially what I ended up just doing was mowing a bunch. And I didn't really get any video of it because I kind of figured it's not the most interesting thing in the world. Now I was gonna come back to the back of my property just behind my house here and give you guys a little update on the food plot as long as the chickens have not completely destroyed. I didn't put my card back in because I was just getting so many freaking pictures of chickens all day because our chickens just kind of free range back wherever they want. Season opens in about a month for this property because it's not with an urban zone. However, my parents' property where we do a lot of urban hunting, that season opens up on September 15th. So I'm super, super stoked for that because we've got a pile of good bucks on camera right now. 
so so excited because we haven't had a lot of good bucks on camera in a long time so it's going to be a big big change going into the season with all the logging that was done and they've been out of there for weeks now but the logging that was done the standing corn the standing beans the food plots are looking so so good over there so i'm just super super stoked to get in the tree over there and another thing do you guys want to see any of those hunts on this channel or do you want me to just keep posting the hunts that we film to our other YouTube channel, which is Brotherhood Outdoors. We haven't done something like this in a long time, but I'm gonna do a Q&A for the rest of this video. So let's get into this right now. I put the trucks back there so that you guys can have something a little more enjoyable to look at other than just my face. First question, what is your absolute dream car or truck? I've never really set a goal in life to be like, this is the one vehicle I have to own someday. Like I, I just, I think trucks are cool. I think cars are cool. But I don't have necessarily like one vehicle that's like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. But if I had to pick a vehicle that's like, that's cool, like that's something that I'd like to have, honestly, just a really nice clean old first gen to daily drive, like honestly, like something like this or like my blue first gen. I don't have like a dream vehicle that's just like, would look at as like a prize to have or achieve to own, you know what I mean? Once you realize that, there's no like material thing that is like your dream to obtain. It makes a lot of life so much simpler. When will you ever get a 6.0 Power Stroke? Never. Full modification list for the 7.3 Power Stroke. 7.3 has a six inch lift, the clear lens headlights, LEDs all around, cab lights, headlights, reverse lights, bed liner that we installed. It's got a four inch exhaust and an intake, but it's not tuned or anything crazy like that. Which of my trucks has been my favorite and why was it my favorite? I've had a lot of favorites, a lot of trucks that I've looked at and gone, oh, that's one of my favorite trucks. But if I'm being very honest and specific to one vehicle, probably my Longhorn build, that was my first new truck I ever bought. It was a 2018 Longhorn. It was before the fifth gens were coming out. It was a mega cab, six inch lift on it, deleted, tuned, 22 by 14s and 35s. It was just a monster. It was an awesome truck. I love that truck. I think another reason why I like it so much is because I bought it. I think it was right before, right after Reagan and I, after Reagan and I started dating. And so we had just a lot of memories in that truck, you know, me driving back and forth to go see her down in Fishers, Indiana. So. I mean, I'm kind of attached to that truck in a sense. If I saw that truck for sale again, I'd love to buy it back. It only had 5,000 miles on it when I got rid of it. When will we see the new hunting property? In terms of when we see the new hunting property, I'm not exactly sure. Closing date was supposed to be like mid-September, but it ended up actually getting pushed over till mid-October because getting appraisers out there and stuff like that has been a real just pain in the butt. But you are going to see it. I just don't know exactly what date because of the time frame with all the... COVID scam stuff and everything else going on. It's hard to say, but they said it should be appraised by the 1st of October and we should have a closing before or close to mid-October. Hopefully it doesn't get pushed off any longer and then we can get the property and then build a cool mud toy for it. My favorite giveaway truck and why? Most of my giveaway trucks I've had a lot of fun with and they've been like really, really great trucks. But I gotta tell you, my my favorite is probably the first one I ever gave away. It seemed unreal to me at the time. I was I just turned 18. I had really, until before that giveaway, I really had no idea what I was gonna really do for a career. Like I had ideas of stuff I was gonna do and I had like a list of business strategies I was gonna try to pursue. Just pursue them and if one didn't work, go to the next. One didn't work, go to the next. One, didn't, you know, so I had a list of things I was gonna try to do and I still have a huge list of businesses and ideas that I'm gonna get to at some point to be able to expand your horizon and expand your income and not just keep all of your eggs in one basket, so to speak. But my first giveaway because it like financially, it changed a lot of my thoughts and aspects on like running a business and stuff like that and potential. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, if I get better at this, this could be a huge thing. But at the time, the only other people giving away a truck was Diesel Brothers. They were the only people giving away diesel trucks before I started doing it in 2017. Late, I think it was like late 2017. Pretty much an untouched area at the time other than them. I'm like, there's a lot of other YouTubers on here, but they're giving away like, gay little stuff like you're not nobody's giving away anything big i'm like i'm gonna give my fans a truck i literally saved up all of my youtube revenue for like a year preparing for this day and i got like an old 12 valve it was clean but i got an old 12 valve and that's where it all started what motivated you to start doing youtube and why when i started doing youtube i was actually 14 years old i actually filmed outdoors videos they're super cringy but if you want to watch them the link is always in the description below down there it's my outdoors channel my hunting channel just brotherhood outdoors and I started doing that. I'm working for my dad at the office and I was making like eight bucks an hour. And it wasn't like, oh, since you work 
you know, for your dad, he, you're gonna get the best pay at the building. It, it doesn't work like that. My dad is one of those people that, even if you're family, it doesn't matter. You gotta earn your way to the top. That's the way it works. There's no exceptions. I'm totally cool with that because I've always expected that in life. I've never expected anything different and nobody should expect anything different. Otherwise you get all these crying babies out in the streets protesting that they want everything free in life. And that's just not reality. Nothing worth having comes easy. And if it comes easy, it's not worth having. But anyway, so I worked for my dad and I hated it, not because necessarily it was working for him, but just because I hated knowing that I have no control over my schedule. I'm stuck on somebody else's time. No matter how creative or how much I work or how much harder or faster I work or how much more efficient I get, I'm still only making $8 an hour. So like, even if I got 10 times the work done, cause I'm like work, 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 I make him eight bucks an hour, you know? And I can't work as many hours as I want in the week. And even when I do, there's only 24 hours in, day, in a day, seven days a week, that's not my dream. That'd be great, but that's not my dream. That's not like scalable, you know what I'm saying? And even if I could scale to be, let's say management in the office, it's not a multi-million dollar position. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to do something that I could explode and take into my own hands and be like, if I have a great idea, I can do it. If I want to go bigger, I can do it. If I want to start another company, I can do it. I would have to get more creative and that's when I started doing the hunting videos and then that didn't work out. So then I started doing the truck videos. That took off pretty well and I've just been doing it ever since. But what it comes down to in terms of why I started doing YouTube is I wanted to have control over my time, my schedule. And really you don't have to do YouTube to do that. You can start any business as long as you're in control. You make the rules, you set the standard and you push yourself to the extremes you can have the ability to have control over your own life, your own schedule, your own finances. But when you're at the mercy of somebody else, it's really hard to do that. And I'm just somebody that I don't want job security. I want freedom to go big and not have the safety net. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to enter to win that truck. Like I said, link is in the description below. Every order placed gets you more entries towards winning that truck plus $5,000 cash. Stuff is limited, stuff will sell out. Uh, hats are all limited, they're gonna be selling out soon. Giveaway's ending soon, so if you wanna grab something, I wouldn't wait until it's all gone, and then messaging me going, dude, when are you gonna get this in stock? It sells out, it sells out, dude. I mean, that's just how it goes. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.